Have you ever been curious about how to create a coloring book in Canva? In this video, I'm going to show you the best tips and tricks for making coloring book pages in Canva and how to save and print your coloring book designs to make them look great. So let's get started. To start with this coloring book, first of all, we need to generate ideas for our coloring book. For this, we can just chat GPT and insert a prompt where I will get at least 50 ideas for our coloring pages. So I'm going to be using this one. I want to create a farm thing coloring book for kids aged between 3 and 9 years. Suggest so me 50 unique items for my coloring book. Now I'm just going to let it write it. So now as you can see it already generates a list of 50 items for my coloring book. So I'm just going to go back to my Canva homepage and over here I'm going to click in create a design and custom size. Over here, I will make sure that my measurements are in inches. And then I will leave my measurements in 8.5 times 11. And I will click in create new design. Now, it already generated my design, but I will be adding some borders. And to do this, I'm just going to go to the section of elements. And over here, I'm just going to go to the section of shapes. And I will choose the square one. Over here, what I will do is just start to place my border where I want it to be. Just over here. And there we go. What I will do now is go to the color section and I will make no color. Now I'm going to go to the border style and I will select this one over here. I'm just going to make it a bit more thin, so I will make it a two. And now we already have our border. What I will do is just lock it so anything else moves now. For today's example, I'm going to use three different options to create our coloring book in Canva. Option number one, using Canva elements. For this option, we have to go to the elements section. And over here in the searching bar, I will recommend you to use these keywords. Black and white. And we can come back to our list in ChatGPT. And over here, we're just going to select a word. So, cow. And I will go here and just paste it. And I can search now. Now, I'm going to go to the section of graphics. And over here, you can see that Canva is already suggesting some options for our coloring book. So, let's say that I like this option. But I would like to see more options like this one. For this, I will click in the three dots and I will click in see more like this. As you can see, now Canva suggests us more options like the one that we just clicked. So I think my favorite till now is this one on here. And I'm just going to adjust it till it fits in my border. And I will leave it over here. I'm also going to make sure that I create enough pages with my borders. And to do this, you can go and duplicate. Otherwise, you can go to the grid view. And over here, you can click in the three dots and click in duplicate page. And you can keep doing this till you get the number of pages that you want. And I'm going to click back in close grid view. And I can come back to create another coloring page. So now with this option, we can continue to search for more words that are in our list. So maybe we can keep going with duck. I will copy and I will make exactly the same. Just paste it and see the graphics of my elements. And I can keep adding more pages to my coloring book. Over here and I will just adjust it. But in case that you want to create your own images, we can use the next option. Option number two, AI image gen. To use this option, we gotta go to the section of apps in Canva. And over here, we're just going to go and search for this AI image gen. I'm going to click over here and then I will click in the first option. This is a free tool that Canva offers to create AI images. But like any other AI, we need to use it with a prompt that I use the best. So you can go and try with many of them. So for today's example, I'm going to be using this prompt. Create a black and white image of a for a coloring book and I will go back to my list in ChatGPT and over here I'm just going to go and get another word of my list. So I'm just going to be using this one. I will copy and then I will paste it over here. And now I'm just going to go and click in create. 
So as you can see, now the AI generate our coloring page. So I'm just gonna go and adjust it till it reach our border. So I'm just gonna go and keep grabbing it over here. A great thing about this option is that there is no limit on how many pages we can create, even for Canva free accounts. So you can get very creative and start to create as many coloring pages that you want with this AI. Option number three, Magic Media. This option is very similar to the previous one. So we're gonna go again to apps and over here, I'm just gonna search for Magic Media. And I'm gonna click in the first option. Another way to get directly to Magic Media is if we go to Elements and over here you can see the AI image generation. And I'm gonna click in Generate Your Own and we are in Magic Media also. Once I'm here we have three sections, Images, Graphics and Videos. We can use the section of Images or Graphics to create our coloring pages. This will depend on how detailed you want your coloring pages to be. I will show you how to create coloring pages with both. So I will start by the graphics section. Like before, we need to add our prompt in the text section. So I'm just gonna be using the same prompt. I'm just gonna be changing the word of our list. So I'm gonna go back to ChatGPT and over here, I'm just gonna go and take another word. So maybe just this one and I will paste it over here. Once that we have complete our pro, we can go and choose our style. So I'm just gonna click in see all and for coloring pages, I will recommend you to use these four. So you can choose between these four, otherwise you can leave it as none and you can let the AI choose for you. But I'm gonna be using uh, the monoline and I'm just gonna click in generate graphics. As you see now, if we compare it to the last option, now we have four options to choose from. And also, if you like this option and you would like to see more images like this, we can click in the three dots and over here we can click in generate more like this. So I really like this one over here and to add it into my design, I'm just gonna click over it. And now we can go add it and adjust it till it fits in our design. So I'm just going to go double click over it and I will crop it so it fits perfectly in my borders. So this is how we use this AI for the graphic section. And for the images section, we're going to make the same. I'm going to go and copy my prompt. I will choose another word from here. So maybe just this one. Copy and then I will paste it. And once we already have our prompt, we can make exactly the same. So we can go and check the styles and you can choose from all these options. I'm just going to be using the watercolor one. And one of the things that I also like of using images of Magic Media is that we can change the aspect ratio. So I'm just going to leave it in portrait so it does fit in our coloring book. And I'm going to click in generate image. So now, as you can see, it already generates some options for us and we can make exactly the same as we did with the graphics section. We can go and click over the three dots and generate more images like this. So I think this is my favorite one, so I just click over it to add it into my design. And I'm gonna make the same. I'm just gonna adjust it till it fits into my borders. For this option, Canva free account users have 50 free uses. Otherwise, you can upgrade to Canva Pro and get 500 credits every month. Now, I will give you some bonus tips to make your coloring pages much more attractive. So, tip number one. To make more visually appealing our coloring pages, we can add more elements, so we add more things to color inside of these coloring pages. And for this, I'm just going to go to the search in elements, I'm going to go black and white and over here, I'm just going to go and search for cow again. And over here, I will see what elements I would like to add. So I think that an element that can fit with my cow, it's just adding this house over here. And there we go. We already add something else that kids can color inside of this same coloring page. 
Tip number two. So other thing that I would recommend you to add is letters on your coloring pages. And to do this, we can go to the section of text. And over here, you can find some of the templates that already exist. So we can add some of here. Otherwise, you can just go and add a title. And over here, you can change the type of the font. I would recommend you to go through this section and just find these options. So I'm just going to go and just find one that I like. So maybe this one. And I will go and write over here, cow. And what I will do now is go and click over the text and now go to the section of effects. And on here we can add this effect. I'm just going to reduce the thickness so we can make it bigger. And like a last but not least tip, we can add some patterns at the back of our coloring page. So we make it more attractive to kids. So for this, I'm just going to go to the section of elements and just look for patterns. So I can add this one on here and just duplicate it and I'm going to click and flip. And there we go. I can add these patterns to my coloring page. I'm just going to make sure they fit into my borders. And there we go. We already have complete our first coloring page. You can keep going and just add another type of patterns that you like the most. Once you finish all your coloring book pages, we can move on to print it. And for this, you can go to the square here in the corner that it says share. Over here, we're just going to click him download. In file type, I would recommend that you keep it as a PDF to print. And you're just going to click in download. Once you download it in this format, we are ready to print our coloring books in the best quality. Tell me which one of these options you're going to try in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in another video.